yesterday was a big one. Deb took off back to the city and uh, I moved into the little mobile home. Spend full time here getting things done. Well, Deb left crazy early this morning and it's just me and Emmy for uh, the next couple of weeks. Kim and Eric are just three miles away. I think the agenda for today is to uh, just move in, make things a little bit livable, clean up the kitchen a bit, and uh, make up a little space to sleep in. I mean, it's definitely a little curious to see if her brother's here. I'm going to hose off the dog to cool her down, but uh, in order to run the hot water out of the hose, which has been being in the sun, I think I'm going to get rid of a few more wasp nests. And what the heck, since I'm at it, I might as well fill Deb's request to water the roses. The other day I put a, some grass blades here to see whether something was coming in and out of this hole, and sure enough, they've been trampled down. I don't know what's living in there. Raccoon, skunk, cat, could be any of them. Well, I haven't made a list yet, instead I just decided to get rid of as much of the stinky stuff as possible. So I'm doing another dump run. Truck's pretty well loaded up. Headed to the dump. even able to get rid of this uh, two-stroke oil. Oh, so many wasp nests. Oh, it's four o'clock and I'm just sitting down to have a snack. It's really easy to get caught up in just do, do, do. Now it's snack, snack, snack. Because I'm sleeping here tonight, I, uh, just gonna tape these holes in the screen. Now from the other direction. All right, it's five o'clock and I've finally put on knee pads. I'm going to start working on this spot right here, which is a spot in the bedroom where I'm going to be sleeping. So I'm going to see if I can put down a coat of kills. I don't know precisely how much pet urine, or how, how much pet urine got in here, but rotted away the bottom part of this wood. Friendly reminder to clean your cat boxes, America. Here's the cat's paw tool in action. Thank you for the... Oh yeah, look at that. Pulled it right out. Thank you for the tip, Tommy. So it turns out that the drywall in here is actually the same wood paneling, just with a little texture sprayed over it. First pass at cleaning the oven, I'm just going to uh, hit it with a vacuum cleaner. I'm giving the in-laws a night off. And, uh, <laughs> I'll be borrowing the oscillating mini tool tomorrow to do this. Or maybe even some other kind of sander. So I got this all cleaned up. Now I'm ready to 
paint some kills here and of course I'm going to start probably turning my phone into a painting mess. And uh, I'm going thick. I want to cover this shit up. This kills is a badass oil based hard as hell to clean up after paint primer that uh, basically is designed to turn this uh, into a layer of plastic. I think plastic. I guess it's enamel actually. And um, stop any smell from coming out ever again. I decided I decided that uh, I'm gonna hand paint the kills. I'll get a roller to do the bigger areas. Uh, this is just a little kind of a test in the room that I'm sleeping in. I'm gonna hand paint it because after watching a bunch of videos on YouTube about how to clean this stuff out of a paint sprayer, I finally got around to one that said, hey, you know, you really want to have a dedicated oil paint sprayer and a dedicated latex paint sprayer, or else you're going to get them your machine gummed up and destroy it. So I'm going to hand paint this stuff, and then I'm going to spray the latex stuff on the less crazy areas. I'm spending more time cleaning my hands than I did painting. That's the final result right there. Just covered up that big old pea stain, I imagine. I got a little kit going with all the turpentine or mineral spirits and kills. But uh yeah. And set up a fan to get it to dry. Winding down with some mellow tasks. I think uh, this must have been the dog's favorite window to look out of. A little better. I still need to do the outside though. Sitting here, climbing up to wash this window. I wonder why it still smells like the inside used to smell, or smelled worse. When I look down, I realize I'm standing in a pile of dog shit. A couple of these screens are bent. I can't quite get them out. I'm not effing them up, so I'm just going to leave them for right now and buy new ones, probably. Next on my erratic to-do list is going to be vacuuming uh, bug carcasses out of here. I need to add the uh, small nozzle to my borrow list, so it, right now the easiest thing for me to do is to go in with a 5-in-1, kind of get everybody loose, and then uh, hit it with a vacuum. This, this is about half a block from the house, like behind the next house. Bugs are loving this light. Based on an informal bug attracting survey, it would seem that the two end colors are better, but it might just be because they're further from the light. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. I have a bed. Thank you to Kim and Eric for that, as well as many other parts of this project. Oh, Amy's got a bed too. And this is what the living room looks like at night. There is no light in the in the living room, which is going to have to be rectified, I guess, by lamps. Kitchen's pretty cozy. And this area with the light on is all right, but boy, that that is a dark, dark, dark space with no light on. We're going to need to put in this little door here to glam it up. Today's the day that I use this t-shirt as a pillowcase because I forgot to bring one. Emmy found the bed. 
next time there's going to be more wall washing, uh, floor demolition, and then maybe happy hour to borrow some more tools. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe.